start with an activity, okay? So I'm just going to ask some people some questions and get all personal and all that good stuff. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to ask you a question. These are yes, no questions. I'm going to start with Leanne. Leanne, you keep a diary, yes or no? Malachi, you like to cook. Oh, just go ahead and say yes or no. I want to hear your voice. Oh, yes oh, or no? My bad. I forgot. No, okay. Alyssa, you exercise regularly. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, Caitlin, you sketch while you're on the phone. You sketch. Are you sketchy? Yeah, you is. <laughs> okay, All right, you have read a book in the past month. This one goes to Anya Sophia, which I actually, that name is so stinking cool. Anya Sophia. Thank you. Beautiful. Wow, it's so, it's so pleasant. You know, the other day I was thinking, this is kind of a tangent, but I, I saw on Facebook this person said, I'm staying in until the virus is done. And then I started thinking about that and I was like, oh, we could make that sound so much better. So we, we came up with something, I can't remember how it went. I think it was like, I have taken, I have sworn a solemn oath to, to I don't know, something, but it was like pestilence and we changed the words, it was really cool. But anyway, yours sounds heroic, yours sounds regal. Thank it's you. just a cool name. Anyway, what's your answer to the question? Did I even ask you a question yet? Yes, you did. Um, okay. Yeah. Yes, you, you have read a book in the past month? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay, it's what is it? Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury. Ooh, Ray Bradbury. All right. Have you read his other stuff? Yeah, I didn't I didn't really like it. Fahrenheit four five one? Yeah, I didn't like that book very much. I didn't either, and I had to teach it once. Ugh. I thought it was too okay. like long. He says too much. Yeah, I guess so. I like some of his poetry. He has a poem mm -hmm. about a stranger. I think it's called The Pedestrian. And actually, he makes mention of it in Fahrenheit 451. Okay, Colton, you're next. Ooh, this is a good one. You replace the toilet paper roll immediately. <laughs> I need a yes or a no. No shaking of the head. Yes. Okay, good. Kiera, is that how you say it? Awesome. Okay, Kiera, you like crossword puzzles. Yes. I do too, but I just suck at them. I'm not, I'm no good. And you would think like as an English teacher that I'd be better, like I'd have vocabulary. Mm -mm. Nope. All right. Adrian, you snore. Oh, yes. Yes. Sometimes I'm, you do? I, 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 I push to the second bedroom. Uh, but my oh. husband snores too, so sometimes he gets pushed to the second Gotcha. John, you have been to your ancestor's homeland. I have not, no. And who are your ancestors? Uh, that is a loaded question, I think. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, go I mean, ahead and I'm, give me a loaded answer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure, so I can't say as I've ever been there. <laughs> Y'all, if you had to guess what, what, where his ancestors are from, what would you guess? Hmm. Uh, I think he's got a very British personality. I know I'm Irish, so. Oh, well, see, I was good. I was the <laughs> Isle. Right. Right? Yep. I mean, that's kind of close. That's kind of close. Jenna, you're next. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I don't. Okay. Jenna, okay, your question is, you read in the bathroom. No. That includes your cell phone. We know the answer is yes. Because <laughs> we all do it, and it's disgusting. And when people want to use my cell phone, I'm like, you don't know where that's been. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's go to Rain. Rain, you like America? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. Why not always? Because it's kind of crazy. You're supposed to be a patriot. You're supposed to be a real American. Well, you're All right, Brianna. <laughs> <laughs> Brianna, where are you? I see your Stranger Things poster. In my room. <laughs> well, where's your face? You mean tilt it down so we can see you. Put your oh, face in the, God. there, like this. There you go. Get real close. Be like this. No. <laughs> okay, next. Uh, let's go. You can remember jokes, yes or no? Uh, kind of. Okay, tell me one. That's appropriate. Oh. Oh, you lied. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> All right, Perla. Is that how you say it? Perla? Yeah. Yes, all right. 
Oh, that's a weird one. I'm not asking. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, seriously, that is just weird. I've got this book, right, that I'm reading these out of, and it says you fold your underwear. I don't care. So we're moving on. <laughs> you talk in your sleep. I'm going there. Uh, no. <laughs> no, you don't talk yeah. in your sleep? Okay. Um, back to Dan. Dan, you recycle small batteries. Do you recycle small batteries? Absolutely not. My grandpa does. I know all of you are like, who does that? My grandpa does that. He's got like a battery recharger. And like anytime I need double A's, I just go to his house. He's like, I got double A's. I got triple A's. I got these kind. I'm like, wow, that man has batteries. That's Did I ask everybody a yes, no question? Addison? Technically I did because you're going to answer yes or no. <laughs> okay, now. Let's, <laughs> all right, let's move Addison. on. Who? I think you missed Addison. Addison, did I miss you? Yeah. Where are you? Shake your hand at me. Do oh, this. Oh, got a puppy. Oh, <laughs> that's a cute puppy. I didn't get them all. I like your puppy. What's your puppy's name? Is it a puppy or a dog? It's a puppy. It's a puppy. How old is your puppy? Um, about two years old. That's not a puppy. That's like a teenager. Isn't it like seven to one? Like he's 14 years old. Is it a he? <laughs> I don't like that. Is your dog a he, a she, or an it? He. Do animals, do animals have he's and she's? I don't know. All right, let's move on. So you can whistle, yes or no? No. No. All right. Anyone else want one of these questions before we move on? You probably should say yes, because your lesson's going to be a little boring. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. Actually, I've got, no, we'll save this. I've got another game up my sleeve, which I'm not even wearing sleeves. Look at this, guys. I've been working out. Woo! Yeah. Okay, um, next, let's go to your classroom. I want to make sure that you all are connected to it. So I have to share my screen. Am I sharing already or no? Not yet. Right. Well, I'm going to. Here we go. How about now? Yeah. Yep. Yes. All right. See, I got this. Okay. So first of all, I need to make sure that you're all connected to Composition 1 2020. If anyone needs to connect to that, make sure that you get there. We've got the classroom code. You can just ask somebody. I'm going to be showing you the classwork tab. So if you click on that, you will see today's lesson. Unfortunately, it's parts of speech, but I'm going to try to go as fast as I can, and it's not going to take a whole long time, okay, as long as you participate. But parts of speech today, we're going to work on nouns and pronouns, and I've got a slideshow to go with this. Okay, so you can click on that slideshow, and that will pull up today's lessons. And this is where we're going to start. So first of all, I want you, if you have a piece of paper and something to write with, which I hope you do, I want you to look at these words and just think about them. And I want you to sort these words into groups. How would you sort these words? You know what sort means, right? Put them in categories, put them in groups. Group those words. Malachi, you look so focused. I'm sorry I pick on you, but you're the one that's like up here in my boxes. So I just see you like this. Well, y'all, what are your groups looking like? What are, you, what are you deciding here? You don't literally have to write each and every one of those out. Just tell me how you're grouping them. Come be able to unmute yourself and participate. <laughs> this is so fun. 
<laughs> Malachi, tell me about your groups. How did you group them? Did you put any together? Nouns, pronouns, adverbs. Okay. Leanne? You got any groups going on, Leanne? There's no right or wrong answer here. We're just we're just asking questions. Alyssa. Whoa, I freaked you out. I could tell. Your eyes went. <laughs> um, places, people, and things. Oh, ooh, look at you. All right, Caitlin. I did the same thing. Okay, who else did that? Copier. Anybody else do people, places, and things? Okay, so what are we talking about, folks? Nouns. Yeah, we're talking about parts of speech. Okay, so I hope that you're going to take a few notes through this because it's going to help you out on that, that uh, post test. Okay. And I also think it'll help you out with your assignment because you're going to do an assignment. And you're going to need to know some terms in order to do it. The assignment's easy, though. You only have to write five sentences, but some of them are like, I need you to write a sentence about a school that includes a proper compound noun. You better know what that is. So you're going to have to listen and take notes. All right, here we go. So yes, if you look at that list or this, this like this vomit of words, they are all names. They are all nouns, actually. There are no verbs. There are no adverbs. There are no other parts of speech. They are all just nouns. And we can group those nouns in three different ways. So people, name some people that you see there. George Washington. How many words are in George Washington? How many words? Not a hard one. Two. Two, okay. But how many people are we talking about? One. One, it's a compound noun, yep. You see any other uh, names that are in there? People. Picasso. Picasso, you know, he was a famous like artist, painter dude. Is he the one that chopped off his ear? No, that was Van Gogh, wasn't it? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I knew that, I was just testing y'all. Okay, uh, what about places? Denver. What? Denver. Denver. France, okay, what about things? Table. Thank you, okay, let's move on. Everyone, we're gonna talk about, everybody read it. Nouns and pronouns. Don't do it like that. This is what you guys look like. Nouns and pronouns. Nouns and pronouns. Oh, Alyssa, high five to you. <laughs> everybody, do this with your eyes. Take your, go like this. Nouns and pronouns. All right, three, <laughs> two, one. Nouns nouns and pronouns. Pronouns. Wow, you're so excited. Okay, I got a little bit of tidbit of information here for you. This is just, I'm just putting this out there for you. Did you know that the word noun comes from the Latin word nomen? Say nomen. Nomen. Yeah, everybody, what does nomen, what does the Latin word nomen mean? Name. 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 Nouns are words that name the things around us. Literally, it's just names. Names like labels. You, you said desk. If I say pencil, what is the thing that comes to your mind? You see like a, a long wooden sticky thing that's sharp at one end and might have a little rubber thing at the other end, right? We just assign labels to things around us. And those labels are names and we call those nouns. So nomen, noun, name, it's all the same thing. A noun is a name of a person, a place, or a thing you need to know that. That's something you should write down and memorize. That's gonna help you out tremendously, I'm sure, if you're ever on like a game show someday and need to get rich. Okay, nouns, they name things that can be seen and touched. So like you said desk and pencil, can you see a desk and a pencil, yes or no? Shake your heads. Mm -hmm. Colton, you too. <laughs> All right, yes, you can see it. So we call that concrete. That is a concrete noun. Why? Because concrete is hard. You can see it. You can touch it. Just like that desk is. Just like that pencil is. Now, you don't need to know concrete nouns. I'm just telling you there's a difference. But there are other nouns that exist that are more like theoretical, and they're just ideas. Right now in the news, there's a lot of talk of this J word. It's lean in a little. It's called justice. Have you heard that word before? Well, what is justice?
What is justice? I'll ask it again. Define justice. Noun. What? An abstract noun? Yeah, that's yeah. what kind of a noun it is, but how would you define the word justice? You're right. Justice is a noun, but can you see it? Can you feel it? Emotionally, you can probably, but um, can you see and feel words like love or rebellion? No, but they're still things. They're just abstract things. They're ideas, right? So sometimes we say that nouns are people, they're places, they're things, and they're ideas. So sometimes they're concrete and sometimes they're abstract. Give me a thumbs up if all of that makes sense. Wow, thank you so much. Big round of applause for you because you're giving me feedback and I love feedback. I'm a speech teacher, I need this. You know? Okay, so here's some examples of a person. If I say the word neighbor, that's a person, that's a noun. Boy, lady, all of those describe different types of people. They're not the actual names because those would be proper nouns, okay? Here's some places, the library, the garden, the city. Alyssa, tell me another place. Uh, school. School, okay. Let's go to things. We have worms, trees, bicycles, justice, peace, and rebellion, which I just talked about. Kiera, name the three that are concrete. What three nouns are concrete nouns in that list? Things that you worms, can see. Worms, tree, and bicycle. Thank you. Okay, and Jenna, what are the abstract nouns? Um, rebellion, peace, and justice. Good job. See how simple this is? If you guys just answer questions like this, we'll keep rolling and it's going to go faster. And I want it to go fast. Don't you want it to go fast? Okay, nouns can be singular or plural. Did you know that? So here's some examples. Artist. What's the plural of artist? Artists. Artists. What's the plural of city? Cities. Cities. What's the plural of belief? Beliefs. Okay, now y'all need to know this, and, and I know that seems easy, but where this is going to get difficult is when I start talking about subject-verb agreement. Your verbs have to agree with your nouns in terms of number. We call that agreement, and we're going to talk about that later in the course. So you better know that a singular noun talks about one person, one place, one thing. And a plural noun talks about two or more of those things. Does that make sense? All right, there's another category. It's called collective nouns. Raise your hand if you've heard that term before. You have? Nuh uh, really? Like, I'd, okay, so somebody tell me what they, well, I mean, give me your own definition. How would you describe a collective noun? Go ahead, Malachi, your hand's up. Uh, a noun that describes a group of one object. Yeah, but a group. So is that noun, is a collective noun, is it plural? No. Maybe. Well, it's a group of people. Or it's a group of things. Audience is a group of people. So, yes. So it's plural? Raise your hand if audience is plural. Raise your hand if audience is singular. Oh, we better, we better get this, I see like half and half. We better talk about this a little bit. What about crowd? Plural, singular, group, committee, herd, family. Singular. Okay, so collective nouns are different than plural nouns. And here's how they're different. Plural nouns are always going to be strictly plural. So the boys sharpened, everybody, what's the next word? There. Their there. pencils, okay? You have different boys, and they're each taking actions, right? They're doing something. They sharpen their pencils or whatever, all right? Collective nouns, though, they can actually be both. So they can be a collective noun can be singular or it can be plural. So here's an example with the word class. The class waits for its teacher. It refers to how many? One. One. So I can talk about one class, right? Or if I say the class begins their homework assignment, now I'm saying that every single person in that group is doing an action together. So all of a sudden it becomes plural. We'll talk more about that later. Don't let it confuse you. But collective nouns. Give me a thumbs up if it kind of makes sense. Good. Let's move on. 
All right, so I'm going to ask you some questions. You all need to be looking at the same slide. We're on exercise A. You need to identify nouns as people, places, or things. I need you to do number one for me, and I'm going to start with Leanne. Everybody can unmute your microphone right now because I'm going to call on you. Okay. What you're going to do, you're going to read through that list, and then you're going to tell me the two nouns, and then you're going to tell me, is it people, places, or things? Go ahead with number one, Leanne. Read the three words out loud. Able, baby, musician. Okay, what are the two nouns in that group? Baby, musician. Okay, are they people, places, or things? People. Great. Anya Sophia, you're going to be next. Do number two. The nouns are rabbit and chair, and they're things. Yes, and they're things. Great. Let's go to Caitlin. You do number three for me, please. Um prison and mountainside and their places. Excellent. Number four goes to Malachi. Misery and success. And what are they? Things. Things. Are they concrete or abstract? Abstract. Good. Alyssa, you're next. Number five. Forest and swamp, their places. Excellent. Number six goes to Jenna. Failure and explore inner people. Number seven, terrain. <clears throat> Table and dog. And what are they? Um, a table is a thing. Well, so is a dog. Okay, so are they abstract or are they concrete? Don't they you, we don't know about those dogs. Are they people? <laughs> Just because. <laughs> okay, Addison, you're next with number eight. Destroy dentist, mayor, the people. Dentist and mayor are both people. And I think we've got two more here. So Perla, I want you to do number nine. Um, rod, clever, and pie. And then maybe rock and pie, I think. Or yes, and what are they? Things. Great. Concrete or abstract? Um, they're abstract, I think. Can you touch them? No. Wait, Rocky can, so it's concrete. And you can touch pie, too, I promise. <laughs> Give me a big chunk of pie, okay? <laughs> so they're concrete. All right, uh, last one goes to Brianna, I think. Did I call on everyone? I kind of jumped around, I don't know. Okay, yeah. so Brianna, do uh, number 10, please. Beach and pasture and foolish, um, the nouns are... Beach and pasture and their places. Beautiful. If this is confusing to you, it's okay. You just need to let me know. You can you can private message me through that chat option if you want to, whatever. But is this confusing people? Or can we move on? Or do we need to do more? I think we can move on, but I don't know. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to speed through. Perfect, let's move on then. Okay, so the next category is called compound nouns, okay? I want you to look at the two words that I give you. I say nouns are not only always just one word. Some name things and, and it's like weekend. Well, that's really two words put together, right? What are the two words? Everyone. Weekend. Everyone. Weekend. 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 What about grandparent? Grandparent. Okay, very good. Those are compound nouns. You're taking two words, you're linking them together. Now, they're not always together, though. It just depends on the history of that word, okay? Sometimes they're separated. Look at the examples I give you. Bubble bath. Some people would say, well, bubble's just a descriptor. That's an adjective that describes the bath. But sometimes we just refer to a bubble bath as one thing. So that's actually a compound noun. Also, station wagon. Sometimes they are separated. Sometimes, though, as, as we progress with the word, we start using hyphens like daughter-in-law and hand-me-down, and sometimes they're combined. Look at the two words that I give you, shipwreck and handstand. So here's the history of that, and I get to choose a reader. Who wants to read? Colton, you look so excited. Of course you can read. Mm -hmm. Okay, historically, most compound nouns begin as separate words. Over a long period of time, more and more people start to hyphenate the words. 
Finally, many compound nouns come, come to be as one word. If you are not sure how to spell a compound noun, check a dictionary. If the compound noun you are looking for is not entered in the dictionary, then you can safely spell it as separate words. All right, makes sense, right? Just gave you a little history, just putting it out there for you. Okay, let's uh, take a quick break. Are you ready for a quick break? You wanna play a game real quick? All right, we're gonna do a scavenger hunt. So I'm gonna tell you what you gotta do here. I'm gonna tell you to find something in your house and then you need to bring that item back to the camera and you need to share it with everybody. And then you also need to be the first person to type your name into the chat box. So you can stand there, like if I say cup and I can be like, what, Miss Reed, I got a cup, I got a cup. That doesn't count because I've got to write my name in the chat box and then go, look, Miss Reed, I got a cup, I got a cup. Does that make sense? Okay, so here we go. And I'll start with things that you might have right now. And I'm going to actually, hold on just a second. I want to stop sharing my screen. And then I am going to be able to see all of you. And that makes it even better. Go here. Okay, the first thing that I want you to find is going to be, hold on just a second, wait for it. The first thing that I want you to find is a flashlight. Go, flashlight. Flashlight. Oh, I have one. It was hanging right there. That was so quick. Yeah, but that doesn't. Oh, she did. Okay. Wait, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh my good. gosh, yes. Okay. All right. So, Brianna, you were the first to type your name in. Let me see your flashlight. Hold your flashlight up for us. Brianna, are you there? <laughs> Brianna? I think she cheated. I think she just wrote her name in there and then it's like, okay, I'm gonna go find it. So let's go to the next one. Malachi, you put no? Oh, all right, but your name's not no. So it goes to Alyssa, Alyssa. That would work, but you're a proper noun. You're a specific person and you didn't capitalize your name. Moving on to Rain. All right, Rain. I need somebody to write Rain's name down because I'm going to send her a Route 44 coupon. Hey, can you do that for me? I got it. Awesome. Okay, let's look for something else. I need you to find something that rhymes with the word that rhymes with the word cat. All right, Kiera's back, is that right? Let's see it, Kiera. <laughs> nice, okay, let's write Kiera's name down. We'll do one more. All right, I need people to find What's something unusual, like, oh. First person, and this is for another Route 44, so you better participate. Okay, first person that brings three Rolls of toilet paper. I'm not even going to go. I don't have toilet paper. <laughs> three. And we know item. you were one of the hoarders if you have three. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that's where it all went. This is why I'm now using corn cobs. <laughs> <laughs> so who was the first? Kia? Did you do it again? I saw Rain, but I, did, I wasn't looking at the name. I think Kiera was the first, oh, was it Rain? Okay, Rain, let's see it. I need three. Let me see, there's one, two. Technically that's six rolls because they're double rolls. So anybody got three? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll put rain down for that that last one there, okay? All right, let's get back to our wonderful 
nouns, because I know you love this stuff. Yes. Okay. Let me downsize a little bit. Okay. Let's go present. Boom, boom. All right. So I'm going to have each of you read a sentence, and I've color coded those sentences so you can see where one starts and the next begin stops. I don't know if I said that right. Anyway, Leanne, you take the first sentence, and then I need you to tell me the compound nouns that you see in the first sentence, okay? So start by reading it out loud. As soon as she arrived at the airport, Jane became more excited about her first flight alone. And what's the compound noun? There's one. Airport. Airport. Number two, Malachi. Once the ticket agent has given her a boarding pass, she kissed her parents, went on board, and fastened her seatbelt. Dude, you got three of them in there. Seatbelt, boarding pass, and ticket agent? Good job. Alyssa, you're next. Shortly after takeoff, the flight attendant brought her a soft drink. You have three as well. Takeoff, flight attendant, soft drink. Excellent. Number four goes to Caitlin. Uh, later, the passengers lunched on meatloaf, string beans, and fruit salad. You have three. Meatloaf, string beans, and fruit salad. That's so weird. Where, why do we... Oh, I guess it's a loaf of bread. When I think of loaf, I think of somebody that's just relaxing, and I'm like, uh -huh. you don't let your meatloaf, you know? Like, it's weird. Okay. Anya, Sophia. Soon she heard the landing gear come down and returned her tray table to its correct position. Okay, and what do you think are the compound nouns there? Landing gear, tray table. Excellent. Number six, there's one, and it goes to rain. In a few minutes, she felt the gentle bump of touchdown, and it's touchdown. Yes, and I want to share something about rain. If you all ever want to see some of the coolest, like most tricked out theatrical makeup, you need to talk to her and ask her for pictures because it is like just crazy awesome, the things she does for Halloween. So you really need to like see that. Okay, Perla, you've got the next one. Which one is it? Uh, I think we're, oh, the, I'm sorry. Inside. <laughs> Inside the terminal next to the runway, her grandmother and grandfather were, said, were waiting for her. Perla, there um, are three. Runway, grandmother, and grandfather. Excellent. Number eight goes to Brianna. A slight mix-up over her suitcase was salt. Uh, Mix up in suitcases. Good job. Number nine, Kiera. What, Bob? Go find some. With the help of her porter, they carried the luggage to the station wagon. Um, porter and station wagon? Yeah, good job. And the last one, William. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say porter? Porter is not a compound noun. I'm sorry. William, you do the last sentence, please. Jane cannot believe her luck as she watched the beautiful scenery along the freeway <coughs> that way into town. There's one in there. Can you find it? Freeway. Perfect. Okay. Next, and these are really easy. I think you'll get this quick. Um, common versus proper nouns. This is important. It, it really does apply in like literally all of your writing. You should know this. All nouns can be divided into two groups. All of them, the abstract, the, the concrete, the compound, all of those types of nouns can be deemed a common noun or a proper noun. A common noun just names any of a class of people, places, or things. So if I say towns, I'm talking about a group of like residences. If I say boys, I'm talking about all of these 
guys in the room. If I say, uh, I don't know, you get the picture. Anyway, proper noun though is a specific person, place, or thing. It always begins with a what? Capital letter. Everybody, it always begins with a? Capital letter. Capital letter, all right. And I can see, I'm just looking right now. It looks like most of you actually, yeah, you guys went back and like capitalized your names. That's so awesome. Thank you for doing that because you are proper nouns. Okay. That's very proper of you. All right. Common and proper nouns. Here we go. Common nouns would be like an example of a common would be a writer, but a proper noun would be the name of a writer. So Mark Twain. Are you familiar with him? Say yes or no. Yes. yes. Okay. Country. Well, an example would be United States. Name another country. Australia. Our, well, that's a continent. Is it a, a country too? It's both. It's both. Oh, you is smarter than I am. Okay, here we go. Building. And it gives you an example of the White House where we could talk about Thomas Jefferson's home, which is called Monticello, I think. I am okay. smart, see? Okay, exercise C, identify common and proper nouns. Number one goes to you, Leanne, read those, and I want you to tell me which one is the proper noun. Which one should be capitalized? Smithville. All right, number two, Malachi, which one should I capitalize? Uh, Black Beauty. Number three, Alyssa, which one should be capitalized? Texas. Number four, Caitlin. Nile. Number five, Anya Sophia. Washington Monument. Number six, Rain. Whitman. Good. Number eight goes to Perla. Is it Lassie or Lacey? Yes. Number nine, Brianna. Um, Pears. And last one, Kiera. Italy. Good job. Guys, we is done. We is done. That is awesome. Give yourself a pat on the back because that is some boring stuff, but you made it through. You persevered. Good job. All right, next, I'm going to talk to you about your assignment. And I just put this here because, quite frankly, I just love Schoolhouse Rock. So if you ever want to just listen to a cool tune about nouns, I got you covered. All right, moving on to developing writing skills. It says, write a sentence about, and you're going to do this, by the way, on, I should show you my classroom. Hold on. Let's go back to classroom. See the classwork tab? Feedback, folks. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, nouns and pronouns. If you go down here, it says developing writing skills. Click on that and then click on the assignment developing writing skills. And here are your directions. It says use the following instructions to write five sentences on your own. Your answers will vary. What does that mean? Your answers will vary. They won't be the same as everyone else. They won't be. So let me tell you. And I'm, I'm being serious about this. My kids that have me in class, they know. You come to me with the same answer as somebody else, mm -mm, this is you. Does that make sense? So if you want credit, you've got to find your own on this. Now, you can talk it over with people, and that's totally cool. But I don't want all of you sending me the same thing. Number one, it says write a sentence about sports that includes one proper noun and one compound noun. So we'll practice that right now. So what is a proper noun? Somebody give me a definition of that. Bobcats. Malachi, say it again, please. Bobcats. Bobcats, okay. Um, is What sport is that? I don't sport. Football. It could be. It could be a high school team. All right, I got you. Okay, um, so yeah, the Bobcats. <laughs> and uh, we also need to include at least one compound common noun, which actually you just did. What did you just say? What kind of a team is it? Bobcats. That's the proper noun. That's the name of the team, right? But what kind of a team was it? Football team. Oh, okay. So we said I needed to have one compound Common noun. So football, it's two words put together. There's your common noun. So can you, Malachi, since you did all of this, can you tell me just verbally a sentence about sports that uses bobcats and football? 
the Bobcats won the football game. Perfect. Now you can use that one. Nobody else can. Let's do number two. Um, write a sentence about animals that includes two common nouns. Raise your hand if you want to give it a shot. Caitlin, it's fine. You can give it a shot. <laughs> can you give me a sentence about animals with two common nouns? The cats and dogs like to play in my yard. That's beautiful. Good job. You can use that. Nobody else can. Number three, write a sentence about an interesting place that includes one compound proper noun and two common nouns. So proper noun is specific and it has to have two words like Washington Monument or George Washington, right? But this has to be an interesting place. So think right now, what are some places that involve two words to describe one place and those two words are capitalized? Mount Rushmore? What college are you going to right now? Well, I guess it's, I mean, it is, right? Yep, and so Neosho County Community College, how many words is that? Four, describes one place. Is it a proper noun? Should it be capitalized? Yes. Is it a compound noun? Yes. Is it a place? Well, the campus is, so we could say something about Neosho County Community College. That could be your place. And it also has to have two common nouns. So think of two things that exist on the college campus. What are some sports that they play? You can just throw out anything, really. I'll tell you if it's right or wrong. Uh, basketball, <laughs> soccer. Perfect. Those are great. So we play basketball and soccer at Neosho County Community College. That would work. Basketball and soccer, they're compound, but they're still common. Is this assignment making sense to you? Give me a thumbs up if it makes sense. Okay. Raise your hand if you think it's hard, and it's okay, because if I was doing this for the first time, I'd say it was hard, too. You think you got this? Okay. Well, this needs to be submitted by 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, which means you got to turn it in before our next class. The next time I meet with you, I was going to do pronouns today, too, but we're just not going to do it, so we don't have enough time. We'll do pronouns next time. All right? Boy, this was fun. Say, wow, that was fun. <laughs> Say it. Wow, that was fun. I know. I know. Calm down. It really was fun. I, I love this green book. It's all about grammar. There are people in the world like me that love this stuff. Okay, so um, if you have any questions, you can email me. And my email, I think, is probably on the classroom or you have access to it somehow. Also, don't forget that I have office hours between 1 and 2 on Mondays, okay? So email me anytime. Zoom with me 1 to 2 on, on uh, Mondays. Got it?